trip to Houston is no small task. There are so many details to figure out, both big and small. And here we are with a few tips to make your trip easier. Technology is your friend. Use this to your advantage. Before you go, there are several apps to download that will be helpful. The Youth Gathering app, a Bible app, an Uber and Lyft app, Google Maps and Yelp, Open Table for easy reservations, and the Ride Metro app. All of these can help you organize your trip and make the most of your time in Houston. Also, before you go, make sure that all of your adults and young people have exchanged phone numbers. Consider making a texting group that includes all adults and youth in your gathering group. Consider making a second group with the numbers of important people back home to keep them up to date, to easily share pictures, and to have easy access in case of emergency. Where are you landing? Houston has two airports, George Bush International and William P. Hobby Airport. What's the difference? Be mindful where you're landing. Have a plan for how your group will get from the airport to your hotel. If you have a large group, you can always call ahead and book a van. Even if you're arriving a day early to the gathering, be sure to head to your hotel first and check in with the hotel front desk. All hotel assignments will be made for your group through the gathering. However, payment for your rooms will be made directly to the assigned hotel. This information will be available to your primary leader through the leader portal. Gathering check-in starts in your assigned hotel on Tuesday, June 26 at 3 p.m. and closes at 8. When you check in, you will get all wristbands for your entire group as well as the official gathering guidebook and other important information. Your gathering wristband is your ticket into all things gathering. If you don't have them, you don't get in. This is for your safety. Please stress the importance of this to your young people. These wristbands are $390 to replace. All of the gathering activities will be hosted in three different locations. Number one, the NRG Arena is the home to community life. This location is open to all groups starting Wednesday, June 26th from 1 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. and all other days from 11 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. It is a great space for youth and adults filled with areas for rest, games, dances, inflatables, and Bible study starting at 3.30 each day with Lutheran leaders like Nadia Boltz Weber, Rachel Kurtz, Joe Davis, Agape, and more. This is also the final stop for each service learning at the end of their service day. Food trucks will be available throughout the day for easy meal options. Number two, the Interactive Learning Center can be found in NRG Center and will open starting Thursday morning at 9 a.m. In addition to great group activities, this will be the site of the Old Lutheran Retail Store. Each group has an assigned morning that is your reserve time to engage the Interaction Center. However, the space will be open in the afternoon for everyone. The Interactive Learning Center is where you will engage in social justice education and interactive group building courses. Throughout the week, all 30,000 participants will have an opportunity to experience the wide variety of sports, service projects, interactive learning, and creative expression. NRG Center will also host some of our Synod Days. Our other Synod Days will take place at hotel properties around the city. More information will be provided by your Synod Coordinator. Number three, home of the Houston Texans, NRG Stadium is where you will gather each night for worship starting at 6 p.m. Keep in mind, your bags will be searched before entering the building. Be sure to have your bag organized and ready for security and metal detectors. Heads up, you will spend time standing in lines. Be prepared to meet new people while waiting and have some games, songs, or activities to keep your group busy. Food will be available each night in the stadium at the concession stands. You will be using the Ford and Amogee Bank entrance. Doors will open each night at 6 p.m. with entertainment on the satellite stages beginning shortly after. Floor seating is available for groups on a first-come basis. We want you to experience and love Houston. It is one of the most diverse cities in the United States. It has many great activities, parks, and areas to enjoy. Take time to see something new. Try planning some local activities into your gathering experience. Come a day early or stay a day late. Or find a time between other gathering activity to sneak in a quick tour of the Blue Bayou. Some ideas might include a trip to the Galveston Pier, any of the Houston museums that are free on Thursdays, a riverboat tour, dolphin cruise or city bus tour, or check out the underground restaurants and shopping. 
Before you go to the gathering, research everything the city has to offer. Not sure how to feed your group? There's food in so many places in and around Houston. Download Yelp and find a new and interesting restaurant. And if you want to eat with us, please do. We have food at NRG Park, the NRG Arena, and NRG Stadium. There will be food trucks at NRG Arena throughout the day that will also move to NRG Stadium later in the day. Just a note, check with your hotel to see if breakfast is provided. If not, consider bringing simple breakfast items for each of your rooms. Pop-tarts, granola bars, juice boxes, and some dried fruit can make for a simple, easy, and cost-effective way to have breakfast. If you plan to dine out locally for meals, think about making reservations for your group in advance and then building your gathering schedule around your reserved meal times. Remember that lunch is provided for your group on their service learning experience. All of your adult leaders should have a backpack with them at all times. Be sure to provide each leader with a copy of all participant medical release forms, including your adults, as well as well-stocked first aid kit. We'd even suggest purchasing a few external phone chargers to keep phones charged in case of an emergency. All of your adult leaders should have a master list of your youth contact information, as well as information for their immediate caregivers. Safety and security is always on everyone's mind, but travel should be a fun experience. Stay aware of your surroundings and travel in groups of three or more. Make sure that students are never without at least one adult leader. The gathering is committed to safety and security of all participants and has extra measures in place to make sure everyone stays safe. In-kind offering. You may have brought some type of an offering in the way of books for the Blast Off for Books campaign. You can find information about that offering and more on the ELCA website. There will be a Sunday morning offering that will be distributed to three different ministries. Also, be sure to encourage your young people to tip appropriately throughout their gathering experience. Lastly, you are not a chaperone. You have been invited and called into the sacred space of our young people to accompany them on this journey as a leader and companion. This is an honor. This event is fun and exciting, but most importantly, it's about faith formation. As an adult leader, you can and should help frame this for your group. It is important for you to help our young people process the event and help them make connections with each other, the wider church, and God's work in their life. This event is a reminder that we are connected to the entire community of saints, that when we gather each night in the stadium, we gather with the entire church, reminded that we are all part of God's larger story and work in this world. Everything we do together is theological. How we love each other, how we respect each other, and how we talk about inclusion. It's all part of our theology as Lutherans in this time and this place. Remember that how we talk to our young people and to each other matters. You will be asked to lead your group in getting ready materials before leaving for Houston. All of these materials are available at the Gathering website. Making sure your group is prepared both spiritually and organizationally for this experience will make this experience have a more lasting impact for all in attendance. Your attitude matters. It doesn't matter how organized you are, something will come up and demand a change of plans. Be flexible and ready to punt. If you are stressed, your students will be stressed also. If you are vocally disappointed with an event, your students will reflect that too. Be a leader and be mindful that you are modeling the tone to your group. You are a gift to these young people. Know that your presence matters and the way that you share your stories impacts the way they will see their own faith and the world.